And we are now the, going to go to one of my favorite. I mean, he was he's such a favorite of mine. If I was going to have this small business event, which we can't have now because of the corrosion messed everybody up, you know, the corrosion virus. Danny was going <laughs> to Danny was going to be one of the speakers. And uh, so we decided to pull Danny in and, and have him give us a, a little chit chat and talk anyways. Danny Decker, thank you so much, my friend, for being here, buddy. It is an honor. Danny wrote this book. Marketing Simplified, How I Built a Seven-Figure Business and How You Can Too. We've already talked to Danny once before about his book. I wanted to get him back because he's been putting a lot of stuff, positive stuff, Nicole, online. Danny, thank you so much for being on the show, buddy. Yeah, Joe, it's my pleasure to be here. I always enjoy spending time with you. What I didn't realize was that we were gonna, uh, I was going to have the opportunity to get a, uh, a coaching session from Nicole for the first 15 <laughs> minutes. I'm fired up and like ready to, to you know, run out the door and, and get back at it. So thank you so much, Nicole, for the, the, the mindset boost this morning. Yeah, you're welcome. Glad to have you on the show, Danny. So this show should really be two hours today because Nicole and Danny and we got Mike Mooney coming afterwards and all of you guys can spend an hour giving real value to the to the listeners. So we're going to try and do as much as we can. So Danny, what videos are you putting on uh, the, the, the web, on the Google? You, you're putting some stuff on the book, on the link, because Julie, <laughs> Julie is sending me emails on a weekly basis saying, you've got to watch this. Danny's doing a great job. Oh, I just really love Danny. Danny's great. What is it you're doing that is pleasing Julie so much? That that is hilarious. I um I am trying to get my message out there, Joe, whether it's through video or or, or my book or whatever. And Julie's I, doing her part and, for you, just so you know. Well, thank you so much, Julie. <laughs> I know you're listening somewhere, and and I appreciate it. I I think I want to piggyback on on what Nicole said at, at the beginning here, which is that this mindset is the game here right now for absolutely for for business owners, and it's really hard because we're all isolated, right? We don't get to you know except except for this. This is like the only only like time I've interacted with, right, with right. people in the You same haven't room. talked to a live person in three weeks. It's crazy. It's all it's all through Zoom. And so it's easy to get isolated. And and I think I think as a business owner, you know, we bring the spark, we bring the energy for our own businesses. And so it's it's really important to to guard our mindsets right now and, and to stay positive and focus on the opportunities. And you know, listen, the, the apocalyptic numbers that are getting thrown out there, twenty five percent unemployment, listen, that means there's seventy five percent of Americans that have a job. Right, and so there, there is, only Danny can find some positive in all. This. There, there, there is opportunity everywhere. As business owners, we are in the business of solving problems for our customers and clients. And guess what? They still have problems. They have more problems than ever. It might look different, but there is still opportunity out there if you're willing to look for it. So that's really the message I'm trying to get out there right now. Is guys, there's still opportunity. I know it's hard, but stay positive. Try to try to kind of get away from that victim mindset where you you see all the things that aren't fair. And and all the things that are happening to you and, and all the problems. But listen, if you can get past that, there's opportunity everywhere. Okay, so Danny, let's do this. Uh, what I, now you got me fired up. You, you know, between you and Nicole, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, right? Okay, so give me some detailed marketing things you can help me with now. Um, now that you've got me ready to go, okay, I, I'm going to get back on the phone. I'm going to get back on Zoom, right? Um, what are some things I can do in this challenging time when actually reaching out to my client I can't do in person? Yeah, no, it's so interesting right now, Joe. And one of the interesting things about this, so I have the privilege of working with clients in a number of different industries. And what's so fascinating, even though we're all going through this you know, COVID-19 thing together, it's impacting different businesses very differently. And so the, the best advice I can give anybody is you got to pay attention to your clients and your customers specifically. I have, I have clients that are, are still able to reach their, their customers and their customers and clients are still buying. And so it's just about shifting the message. And then there, there are other cases where, where, listen, it's a little more of a bunker mentality. And so you have to take a different approach. But I think the key is you can't over communicate right now. It's really, really important to stay in touch with your customers and your clients and understand where they're at. Most people are scared right now. Um, many people are worried about whether they're going to have a job. Others are worried about their business keeping their lights on. Listen, my, my book, Marketing Simplified, right? It's, it's, it's simple. Marketing is not hard. It's about understanding who are your target customers and clients and what are their problems and what are their opportunities. And listen, that has shifted in the last month. Like for all of us, the day-to-day -day life of our customers and clients has shifted and our problems are new. 
but still very much there. And so as a business owner, it's, it's about staying in communication with your customers and clients and figuring out how you can serve them through this time. So what are some of your clients, what problems are they calling you with problems? What, how, are, how are you interacting with your clients currently? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's all over the board. I'll get specific. One, 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 one simple opportunity here is, listen, so many businesses are, are closed down right now or, or change the way they operate or you know, they're fully remote or whatever. And, and so their customers and their clients aren't sure what's the, the, the best way to engage them. And so a simple step that really everybody needs to take is on your website right now, you should have a pop-up or a notification up at the top that's a COVID-19 update. And let your customers and let your clients and, and potential customers and clients know, like, hey, I'm still here. I can still serve you. We're working remotely now. I've put all these resources together for you. I, I'm not sick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or, hey, maybe, I made it past the bad week. <laughs> or, or, or maybe I am sick, but I'm still talking to you through Zoom, so it's fine, right? We just got to let people know, you know, how they can engage with us and, and that we're still here to serve them and how we can serve them. Right. Yeah, and I think what's really important is to do that through social media, too. Throw up an image that says, now open, still open, our hours are this to this. So I think also uh, making sure people know through all your social media channels that you're open. Um, and then, like you said, reaching out through the telephone and putting it on your website. I think those yep. three are very important. I could not agree more with that, Nicole. And, and I'm going to even go one step further and say, don't be shy and don't let anyone tell you that you should not be marketing and selling right now I have seen I, I've seen a little bit of this on on social media and elsewhere where it's kind of this attitude of how dare a business owner be trying to make money right now like how you know it, whoa, 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 whoa 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 you're gonna go against all conventional wisdom that says don't try and sell your clients right now because you're gonna look like a goma goma gapa I'm gonna tell you that a what? <laughs> a goma goma go gapa Okay, now, Danny, that is just made up. Keep talking. <laughs> Please keep talking. He's just making stuff up now. <laughs> I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna tell you guys. The best thing you can do as a business owner right now, the best thing you can do for our country today and in the future, is to keep marketing and keep selling. Listen, money that's doesn't right. money doesn't disappear. Money stops moving, and that's when we have a recession. And as a business owner. We move money when we market and we sell. So I'm not telling you to be insensitive. I'm, I'm not telling you to, you know, to, to, to run a scam and try to take advantage of people. I am telling you, as a business owner, you provide value for your customers and your clients, and you have a responsibility now more than ever to keep doing that. They need you. Your customers and your clients need you. But the economy needs you. I need you. Everyone in the show needs you. Like, we need to be out marketing and selling. And so be careful. I, I see people, you know, giving things away for free and, and doing everything for free, and I appreciate the spirit, right? I appreciate how everybody's kind of rallying together. But I want to tell people, be careful about giving things away for free that you would normally charge for. Like, ultimately, we, we, we need to keep money moving. We need to keep marketing, keep selling, and no one should be ashamed of that or feel guilty about doing that. You know, well, a, good, a good example of that is that, um, you know, he just got a check. Joe just got a check from Texas, and he's going to call DoorDash and order seven quarter pounders today. <laughs> That's what you're talking about, although he should be on a, you know, he's supposed to be on a diet. I'm going to call Chris, his coach, when this is over. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's what you're talking about. It's systemic, right? It, exactly. No, and then, and then the seven door don't, dash. D Danny, don't amuse her with that. You understand that? Don't, 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 don't amuse her with that. Yeah. I also want to say this. Listen, um, th these are unprecedented times, and most everybody is, um, you know, nervous at best, if not downright terrified and hiding under their beds. Yeah. And as a business owner, you have a unique opportunity right now to step up to the plate and be a voice of perspective, of sanity, um, so it's, it's more than just marketing and selling, which you should continue doing, but look for ways to be of service to people right now. So on, on my website, for example, if you go to dannydeckermarketing.com backslash COVID, I have put up a resource page where, so I, I'm a marketing coach and consultant and strategist, and so that's my world is marketing strategy. And so I have put a ton of resources of how business owners can adjust their marketing strategy as a result of COVID. But here's the point. All of you listening to this can do this too, right? Because COVID is touching your customers and clients in some way right now. And this is your opportunity to step up to the plate and educate and inspire and give people perspective. And, and like Nicole said, that right now, listen, even if people aren't buying your products and services, right now, if you can be that voice of sanity and that, and that relationship, that is going to pay dividends for your business down the road as we get back to normal. You know what you just did for me, Danny? You, you made me think of something, which is what a perfect time to make sure 
whatever product or service I'm providing is actually giving value to the client. Because through your words, if I am providing value and the client needs it, then I am not embarrassed or I shouldn't be ashamed to go ahead and call them and say, would you like something? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so uh, between you and Nicole, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get back on Zoom and sell something else. Exactly. That's the best <laughs> thing you could do, Joe. And, and that's what it's all about. And listen, a, a time like this kind of exposes it. But the best security you can have, whether it's in your business, whether you're an employee, the best security you can have is to make yourself indispensable to the person who's sending you a check, whether that's a client or an employer right, or right. whatever. And so now more than ever, it's, it's really important that we're focused on providing real value to people, to our customers and our clients. Absolutely. Danny, thank you so much. I want everybody to go order this book, Marketing Simplified, How I Built a Seven-Figure Business and How You Can Too. Danny Decker. Danny, will you stay with us? Uh, we're going to we're going to go to break. We're going to call Mike Moody and and I want you to keep you on the uh, on the air if you don't mind, buddy. Yes, sir. Let's take a break and we come back. You are listening to Local Biz Now. If it's Friday morning, your business matters. 